England got their Euro 2020 campaign off to an ideal start as Raheem Sterling's second-half goal earned them a 1-0 win over Croatia at Wembley Stadium. It's the first time they have won their opening game at the European Championships. A fast start by England very nearly resulted in the game's opening goal, Sterling hurtling forward from a throw-in before slipping in Phil Foden, whose shot curled against the far post. Dominic Livakovic saved well from Calvin Phillips soon after, a low drive through the bodies that had assembled in the Croatia box for an England corner. After a gruelling start to their tournament, Croatia looked to be establishing themselves on the contest and were dominating possession in the first half, at least until just before the hour mark. Phillips, England's best performer on the day, picked the ball up just inside the Croatia half, beat one man and delivered a wonderful no-look pass to Sterling, whose first time shot Livakovic could only parry into the net. The hosts rarely looked like letting their winning position slip away with Harry Kane coming close to doubling their lead soon after, clattering the post rather than the ball as he tried to get on Mason Mount's cross. After all the hype, nerves and expectations emanating from the nearest Euro 2020 has to a true host, the semi-finals and final will be played at Wembley Stadium, the endless debates over lineups and the sweating on the fitness of Harry Maguire, this was as good a start as Gareth Southgate could have wished. There was pace to England's attacks that Croatia simply could not live with. Time and time again a long ball into the left channel unleashed Sterling, who did almost everything that could have been needed to justify his selection over Marcus Rashford and Jadon Sancho. At times it seemed that success for Duja Kalita Carr was just to get near him. A driving run in the fifth minute was followed by that component that has on occasion been lacking at Manchester City this season, the right action at the right moment. A well-placed through ball gave Foden the chance to attack Josko Gavardiol 1 vs 1, the young forward beating him with ease before curling a shot against Livakovic's far post. Sterling drew a good tackle from Kalita Carr after swift feet and smart interplay with Phillips, another whose contentious place in the side was justified through his dynamic running and accurate passing. Meanwhile, Mount was everything he had been at Chelsea. In one passage of play, he would be spotting the pass from deep by a Croatian defender, the next lobbing a brazen pass to Sterling in behind the backline. For the first half of the first half, England looked like serious contenders. All that was missing was the goal. The baking heat of the London sun, coupled with Luka Modric's elegance, took something of the early sting out of England. As the pace of the game slowed, so did Croatia grow more imposing. That will be cause for some concern where Southgate is concerned.